then you have the option that you saw in that last menu where you can link uh, the games that are built into the system along with the ones that you add yourself. So here's some of the stuff that I've added. And that one's right on it already. I added Crash. Final Fantasy's on there already. Intelligent Cube. <clears throat> How's it going, stuff? I streamed earlier on, and apparently the audio wasn't working. The whole time, nobody told me until like 20 minutes in, so I'm kind of redoing things. <coughs> or my voice was working, but the audio from the game uh, system wasn't working. <laughs> My friends and I, this was our favorite football game for a few years. 97. 98's good too, but 97, I don't know what it was. Just checked all the boxes for us. Yeah. It's 44 degrees right now. I've got a pork loin to put on the smoker today. I'm going to film it because <clears throat> it should only take about three hours. I've never done a pork loin before, so I'm really excited for that. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, but as you can see, if you haven't been on yet, I'm actually using a DualShock 4 connected via Bluetooth to the 8 do Bluetooth adapter. And the analog stick works as a D-pad, which is freaking awesome for me. Because uh, with the included controller, I couldn't play with it because it's only got a D-pad. doesn't have the analog sticks. <clears throat> and even if it did, I don't think they would Welcome to technically today's work game. with everything. Between the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. Tales never fails. This is PlayStation Classic. Green Bay Packers. Yep. Kick off or receive. Well, the I put Packers it on there. Will but yeah, this the is running up PlayStation the Classic. The Lions will defend the South Goal. Right there. Don Phoebe. With the return. I mean, if you already have one stuff, why not? You know? It works. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> First and ten on the twenty-five yard line. <laughs> It's funny because I actually have a second one. Oh, they knocked Robert Brooks out in the first play. Shit. I have a second one in my car because uh, it was 20 bucks at the time from Best Buy. Or I think it was Best Buy. Oh. Oh, boy. Third and ten. Actually, this is the easiest mod I've ever done. Seriously. It's, as long as you have a USB flash drive that is compatible, it is incredibly easy. Um, the problem was, at the time when the mods first started, this, this is the one that people said to buy. And for a whole day... Incomplete pass. 
I kept trying and things kept failing. <clears throat> and then I realized this drive wasn't working. Tried a new one and boom, everything just worked. Oh, shit. First and 10 on the 31 yard line. Gilbert Brown. <laughs> Gain on All right, so NFL game day works. That's cool. <clears throat> and it's funny because it actually, even this, supports save states, which I thought was kind of neat. Let's try this. <clears throat> so I just threw a random bunch of titles on here. I didn't really curate anything yet. Uh, I've also got, I tried the PSP mod today, or the PSP, it's called a mod within this system, but uh, the PSP emulator, it did not work very well. Uh, the Nintendo DS one as well, I couldn't even get to launch. Um, but like SNES, Genesis, NES, Turbo Graphics are all working great. Uh, the sound emulation on the Genesis side is a little wonky for Streets or H2 that I tried, but um, really good. <coughs> Some of this happens where it's almost like the disc is skipping or the PlayStation's overheating. I don't know. Rage Racer. I did not put Toka on here yet, no. I literally just grabbed a few games and threw them on. <clears throat> um, only one I've had so far not work is Wipeout XL. And then Hot Shots Golf 2, uh, it's really sluggish, and I can't even shoot the ball. Uh, the timing is really off. You just found your original Turbo Graphics? Nice. Trophy support? No. Uh, so I'm just not, I don't have another car to try. Oh, here we go, car shop. Oh, can't do anything because I don't have any money. <clears throat> Racers, start your engines and let's get it on. I haven't played Rage Racer in so long. Three, two, one, go! The race is on. Show them what you've got. Three laps to go. What the hell? Oh shit. I thought I had to jog right. Alright, so Rage Racer's working. Oh shit. So the mod itself, uh, you download the package, you throw it onto, you have to format the uh, whatever flash drive you use, you have to format as uh, either FAT32 or EXFAT. Um, I just did FAT32. 
you throw the files on there. You have to label the flash drive Sony with all capitals. Um, you, you unplug the PlayStation Mini from power. And then you uh, plug the USB drive into port 2, USB port 2 on the PlayStation Mini. Plug it in. Wait until the light goes orange. Turn it on. If you have a compatible uh, USB drive, it'll actually come into the Project Iris uh, screen. It'll do everything automatically. You don't have to touch anything on the controller. You don't even have the controller plugged in. And it goes through, installs everything locally on the machine, puts a new kernel on, backs up your system, and you want to keep that backup somewhere. So if you ever want to, you know, factory reset this thing, you can. And um, reboot it. <clears throat> and then once it comes up, you'll see this screen. If you see this, then you've successfully modded it. Turn everything off, take the USB drive out, uh, throw it on your computer and just start moving stuff over. You don't have to convert anything. Uh, it works really, really, really well. Uh, compatibility has been really high so far. Not perfect, but really high. <laughs> Who needs a PS5? <clears throat> um, and as you can see, I threw a ton of games on here. Uh, if you get the Wi-Fi adapter that works with this thing, you can even have it, after you put all these games on, you can have it go wirelessly to the internet and pull down all the cover art, all the game info, all that stuff. Um, but literally, you just pull the games over to the USB drive, and everything runs off the flash drive in terms of the games. So, I overdid it a little bit on a lot of these things. <clears throat> but stuff, literally, uh, they've done a fantastic job setting things up. So, um, all the folders are already set up on your flash drive once you do all this. And there's a ROMs folder. And when you open that ROMs folder, uh, it's got all the different systems listed. And you just open the folder, drop the games on there, and that's it. That's all you have to do. It recognizes everything right away. When you when you put the flash drive back in, it'll actually, it, it says scanning ROMs folder. And if it sees something new, then it imports it all in, and it's all automatic. Literally the easiest mod I've ever done. And the SNES mini mod I thought was pretty easy. But this one, way easier. Once you get that initial... Uh, initial bothering of, of making sure that your USB flash drive is compatible or not. And even um, Batman Riff and the Joker seems to work fine, which is huge, because that game usually doesn't like emulation. But Yeah. I don't have any nostalgia for any NES games. Um, the SNES mod, the SNES Mini mod went way easier for me than the NES Mini. I'm still having problems with the NES Mini. Uh, just getting the other games to work. <clears throat> um, I don't know what it is, but I'm having a lot of problems with it. There is an updated version of uh, Hackchi now. It just came out a couple days ago, so I'm I'm probably gonna retry that this coming week and uh, see if I can get that thing working. I really don't care about any of these NES games. Here we go. Ah, shit. Wrong button. That's the biggest problem right now is that Emulation Station uses... If you look at a PlayStation controller, it uses Circle for... Um, confirm and X to cancel, but then when you use RetroArch, which Emulation Station is kind of a a front end for all these all these emulators, but if you go in RetroArch or anything else, those buttons are reversed. It's so stupid. <clears throat> yeah, this this stuff has all been running really well uh, so far. Um, whoops. I don't know what it is, because uh, my buddy Rock and I have tried modded, modding three NES Classics, and all three we have had nothing but problems with. But the SNES Classic, when I did it, perfect. No problems whatsoever with it. It's run perfect. I just I don't understand it, because it's the same hardware. It's just whatever's inside of it. 
And then this emulation station that I'm on right now, if you just press right or left, it takes you to a different system. Like I tried to run Mario Kart DS and it just sits. Yeah, so something's not right on it. And then this did not want to work. Let's try a different game. Blame Obama. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, see, this doesn't want to work either. But if you go to <clears throat> Genesis, I'll show you what I'm talking about with the emulation. Which this is just using RetroArch for emulation, like everything else. But it's funny, I've had that little back and forth on Twitter with that dude, like, emulation's great! Okay, I like FPGA. And quite frankly, this is one of the examples. If you go to like Streets of Rage 2, the audio is really not the best compared to the real game. It's still fine. It plays great. But the audio definitely has some issues. <clears throat> I blame him. It's always his fault. Thanks, Obama. Ooh. Yeah, the audio is not too good. Whoop, wrong button one. I always get upset when they let Miyamoto run free, because then he screws up things like the Star Fox franchise and always has to make some weird, funky controller. Like the N64 controller. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't go out and buy a PlayStation Mini just for this, but it works. It works really well. And like I said, this was definitely the easiest mod I've ever done for one of these minis. I love this game. Finally, Streets of Rage 4 is coming soon. Um, I'm sure the TurboGrafx Mini is going to be moddable pretty quick. Um, I actually canceled my order for it, so... Since I don't have a job. Uh, this does not have online play. But Streets of Rage 4 does. Play co op with your friends in Street to Reach for. Damn that guy. Dogs making some weird noises. Maybe if you didn't push all the people away stuff, you'd have some friends. Yeah, that audio. I played this game enough to know that the audio is messed up. It's not bad, but it's not perfect. Can't help that part again. Uh huh.
Uh, no, you don't remember playing this in the Super NES because it's only a Genesis game. You're probably thinking of Rushing Beat Shura Peacekeepers. And this is a Final Fight style game. This was their way of trying to get their own Final Fight. But it's a great, it's my favorite Genesis series by far. Best soundtrack on the console, too. <clears throat> I'm excited as hell for Streets of Rage 4. Finally coming out. Yeah, this is running really well. Yeah. 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 Uh-oh. I was going to say it is. He's up. Testing the be let back to work. I would like to have a job first, but no. <clears throat> that shit cracks me up, and I get it. You know, especially when you can't go to work and. But people bitching about, oh, I'm stuck in the house. And I, I got no freedom. You know what? I haven't done a damn thing since June when I lost my job because I can't afford it. So suck it up, Buttercup. There's actually a group that somebody on Facebook invited me to. Uh, Wisconsin, people in Wisconsin that want to be like not quarantined anymore or something. I just laugh at it. Freaking snowflakes. this whole notion of when you're an American like above everything else is freedom and I don't know I say go ahead and <clears throat> go ahead and protest, go out and go out in public all you want. That's just one less person I gotta deal with when you get this virus and die. People wanna be that stupid? Whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> well, no, that's that's even funnier is I was have, already having a trouble finding a job, but now nobody's hiring. Uh, the listings are so bare that the state even took away uh, the requirement to search for jobs for unemployment. Because normally you have to list four jobs a week that you applied for uh, to get unemployment, and they took away that requirement because nobody's hiring. Everything is on a complete standstill. And there's nothing I can do. I hate this part.
Yeah, this is running really well. some time. I love that game. Actually, Hyperstone Heist on the Genesis is better than I gave it credit for when it came out. Because um, it's basically a clone of Turtles in Time with some uniqueness. That audio is not good. Oof. Uh, where is it? Oh, you saw a screenshot thing on there? I didn't know that. It's Europe. This game's actually pretty good. Oh, cool. Yeah, take screenshot. Huh. Interesting. Okay, how do I make this go away? All right. Ooh, that audio though. Oof. Okay. Sorry, I just had to figure out what the buttons were. Jump.
Oh, this is running really well. They just keep coming. Games always crack me up when you would take damage by falling down a manhole cover, yet they live in the sewers. Never really understood that one. Oh shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> the new Star Wars, maybe. Oh, Alright, well. There's that.
yeah so there you have it uh like i said when i put this on youtube <clears throat> i'll throw some links in the the description uh with a couple of the videos that i watched that really helped and like from nostalgia and i forget the other guy like johnny tucci or something like that where is it give me a second well sometimes i really hate youtube's uh johnny troche t r o c h e <clears throat> he he did a, a video not too long ago called project iris new modification tool for the playstation classic fresh install and uh really really good step by step uh had some good links in there as well but I'll throw some links in there in the description for the USB drive that I'm using the successfully. Uh, if you want to get like a powered USB hub, if you want to do the more than one player or whatever, uh, if you want to get the wireless adapter, that sort of thing. Uh, this is so cheap though. If you already have one of these, you just need a, a USB flash drive that works. So if you don't have one, well, then you may have to buy one, but, um, it's it's real easy. Seriously, it's really 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 easy. Uh yeah, it looks kind of silly because you've got where is it? There it is. I mean, you've got the USB flash drive hanging out. I've got the Bluetooth adapter on there. There's only two USB ports, so that's why you needed a uh a USB hub if you want to do some other stuff like the wireless dongle <clears throat> but all that supported uh, seriously insanely easy it's nothing but drag and drop and that's it um, yeah I mean I would have had this done really quick if I didn't use this stupid flash drive at first the one that I was supposed to use for the original mod uh, that never worked for me so but yeah it's pretty neat I mean it, I wouldn't go out and buy a PlayStation Classic Mini just for this, unless you really want to play some PS1 games. But uh, so the DualShock 4 <clears throat> is real easy. Um, 8 bit do sells a Bluetooth wireless adapter uh, that's USB, and it just works. Um, I put it in the, in the controller port 1. And the DualShock 4 goes into Bluetooth uh, pairing mode by holding share and PlayStation uh, buttons. Hold those and, and the light bar will flash. And then the 8-bit 8, 8 do uh, adapter has a little pairing button on it as well. And it just works. So, and that... USB adapter, the Bluetooth adapter from those guys is not very expensive. <clears throat> and the cool thing is they, they bring out firmware updates. Uh, so they did a firmware update specifically for the Genesis Mini so that this would work in the Genesis Mini because they have a, a lockout something or other. Uh, I think they did one for this as well. But uh, the cool thing is, for me, uh, the analog just works for D-pad stuff. So I'm actually using the analog to move all this stuff. Yeah. But this, this and Wipeout XL are the only games that I've had problems with so far. Uh, it's This is incredibly sluggish. Like, almost unplayable. <clears throat> and I haven't tried everything on here yet, obviously. But uh, everything else I've tried so far has been great. Yeah. I haven't tried this yet. Um, but yeah, no special anything for the DualShock to work. And you can get like a Steel Series. Bluetooth uh, controller, whatever. Uh, this Bluetooth adapter is, works with pretty much everything I've ever tried. So, yeah. <clears throat> now that I've got this synced up correctly, maybe I'll try this on the Genesis Mini later on today. Hi, Ginger. Did you wake up? Yeah, it's almost time to go UT, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. You are the worst waker upper ever. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Likes to do this too when games load up. Wow. 
the hell? There we go. I was going to try to change my car, but maybe you can't do that on... Alright. Three, two, one, go! Let's see, so I'm using the sticks to move stick. Whoops. I don't remember this track. Doesn't matter, I still suck. So if you've got any questions, you know, tweet me, whatever. Um, I'll try to get this on YouTube sometime this weekend. I, I'm going to smoke some meat today and tomorrow, probably. So I'll be pretty busy with that, sitting around drinking beers, watching the grill, watching smoke billow out of it. But uh, I actually kind of want to see if this launches. <clears throat> when I worked in Illinois, this was a big game for some coworkers of mine and I. We used to play this at work all the time get stuck at the office after hours and we had this big 10 foot screen uh, that I put in actually with a projector and all that and I'd bring my PlayStation and we'd play. <clears throat> oh wait, Stoff wants to see this game? Uh, reset. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is proof. And Howard Finkel just died a couple days Anything ago. Anything can happen in Ring the announcer. World Wrestling Federation. Aw. Ready, camera five. Camera seven, tilt up. Ready, gold ring. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. The wow. Camera six, stand right. right. I played a lot of two. I just haven't played it in years. Oh, Benoit. He's not alive anymore. Yeah, that's nice. That's a dumb interface. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Who the fuck? That's a. Oh, I don't remember that guy at all. Yeah, this UI sucks. Come on, Heenan. Wow. Oh. 
Huh. Alright. Aw, oh, do they not have any of the... Any of the mana chips? No, it's Paul Bear. Percival Pringle. We'll see Bobby Heenan. I don't think he is. Nope. Damn it. Paul Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should, I, should I fight Tristratus? <laughs> or Palpinus? How about Palpinus? A cat? I don't remember her. Or I always had a crush on Lita. boys. No, Lita wasn't married to Chris Benoit, was she? Yeah. I thought she was married to Matt Hardy. Oh, the cat was Sable. Okay. I thought she was always Sable. She was Mark Merrill's wife at the time. And then she got divorced and married Austin for a while. For real. Man. Someone needs their allergy pills. Yeah, someone's itching. Okay, babe. I'll do this one more thing and then I'll take you to OUT. Yeah. Okay. I forgot even what to do. I haven't seen him yet. Let's get the bottom.
Oh. <laughs> oh no, oh, I don't want to do that. No. I don't know how to cover. somebody else. Why, why am I locked on to... I don't remember how to do a finisher. <laughs> Up stuff. This triangle's wrong. Thank you. 
R1? Okay. <laughs> trying to do oh is it hold R1 and do something else I see it said Smackdown up on the thing Rapper R1. That's what I've been doing. Oh man, Paul Bear just knocked the lead out? Wow. Oh, bear. I said SmackDown and I tried to hit R1 and nothing happened. Aha. Ah. 
There it is, L1. L1. That's still a pretty good fucking game. Actually, it looks good. I mean, it, I think this holds up better than a lot of these PlayStation games. Honestly. Well, that definitely runs on here. Jeez. Now I just need a way to plug in my pocket station. <laughs> well, that was cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to stop because I got to get the smoker going. Get dinner on. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, it'll probably be a day or two. I'll get the video up on YouTube and I'll, I'll get the links in there if you guys are interested. And I'm available for questions if, if you run into a roadblock or whatever. But seriously, if you have a USB flash drive that actually works, unlike this piece of shit, um, it was insanely easy. It's just It just takes a little bit of time. But you just need a computer uh, to move all the files over to the USB flash drive and the rest is automatic. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty neat. So, I just wish this game worked, damn it. Um, we don't have Amazon anymore, but <clears throat> I think we have like Newegg and Best Buy and stuff, so they, they might be affiliate links. Um, I'll, I'll take a look and see what's available and whatnot. You really don't need much. You just need a USB flash drive <clears throat> if you don't have one that's big enough. Uh, like I said, the one I'm using right now is 64 gig, uh, so I can load it up. But, I mean... Where's that little thing? That the, the one that I used to set things up with this is like I don't even know if this is a gigabyte. It's pretty small. So what is this? Oh, oh, this is a 16 gig. Um that's just one I got at E3. So most will work, not all. Um <clears throat> but I'll put something up there if you want to get like a USB powered hub. Uh, I have a bunch of them from Amazon, and they're really good, but I'll have to see if there's an equivalent for an affiliate link that we still have. Hi, sweetie. You probably want to go outside, don't you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll get that up on our YouTube channel this week sometime. And if you're interested, if you have one of these things and you didn't want to play it, uh, that's the way to go, man. So... Thanks, Lord. Yeah, here, I'll show you here in a second. <clears throat> so, as you can it's see, you only have two USB ports. So, uh, hey, thanks for the sub, man. If I can find my mouse. Uh, there we go. So, um, here's the 8 bit do Bluetooth adapter. Just a little USB thing. Uh, the button sync is right there in the end and just to put it into pairing mode <clears throat> and it just needs power so as long as you have it plugged into something uh, like I said you hold share and PlayStation button on here and the light bar will flash and then you just hit the pairing the pair button on the on this thing and 
they pair up and it works fine. Uh, and then the USB flash drive that I'm using is a PNY 64 gig. Uh, I've used these PNYs. I have a couple of them actually, and they're fantastic. So, uh, but that's what I'm using right now. And <clears throat> the files are readily available online. Um, it works with ISO files and with bin and queues for uh, the different games. The only thing I've really had a problem with so far is a couple of games on PlayStation like Hot Shots Golf 2 and Wipeout XL. Um, I've had problems with PSP and DS working, um, but I know they do work because I've seen videos of them running. Um, and that's about it. Um, you can put like <clears throat> Atari 2600, 5200, uh, ColecoVision, you can do NES, Master System, um, SNES, Genesis, Turbo Graphics. I think there's like a 3DO thing on here. I mean, there's a ton of stuff available. I'm not saying that stuff will run well. I, I really don't know if it will, but uh, they're there if you want to do it. So anyway, I'm going to go smoke some meat. Smoking meat. Uh, yeah, so just check it on the on the uh, PS Nation channel. Uh, it's youtube.com slash PS Nation. Uh, I'll get that posted sometime this week, and I'll change Moobot eventually to get that clan stuff off there. Uh, see you later, Bust and Run. Thanks for everybody else for uh, for checking us out. Lord Verge, thanks for the sub. And um, I'm going to stream something probably tomorrow, a game, an actual game. And uh, I'm putting a, a, a video together for a game coming up pretty soon as well. So hopefully I have that ready to go sometime this week for when the embargo lifts. <laughs> Are you trying to get power from the USB cable? Huh? Are you? Yeah. Say hi. I don't think anybody can see you. <laughs> Someone's bothering me to go out. <laughs> so, take it easy, folks. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.